Randomly today, I decided to look up the worst MLB player in the history of baseball. And when you look that up, you're expecting to see some pretty bad players. I was not expecting to see the type of player that I saw, though. I found a dude that played in the early 1900s by the name of Bill Bergen. And let me just show you his stats real quick. This guy right here. Oh my God. A career negative 6.9. Nice. On the war. Out of 3,000 at-bats, had 516 hits, had two home runs out of those 3,000 at-bats, had a batting average of 170, just below 200 RBIs, had 23 stolen bases, an OBP of less than 200, a slugging percentage of 201, and by far my favorite part, an OPS plus of 21, dude. An average OPS plus in baseball is 100. So 21's crazy. Not to mention the guy was playing in the early 1900s. So this dude's playing against plumbers, throwing 50 miles an hour. Like, it's bad. It's real bad. Bad. I get that it was a whole different game, but I mean, oh my god. Like, the guy played almost a thousand games in his entire career. So I decided, why don't we replay the career of one of the worst players to ever exist, and just to see if we could actually train him up and maybe fix him and become better than he once was. And here he is in game, Bill Bergen. Big shout out to Gus Bus, by the way. This dude is incredible. If you guys want to download it as well, then be sure to do so. And leave a like on the player like I'm doing right now, because this dude is so incredible at making players, and I seriously appreciate him helping me out for this video. Either way, the guy played on the Brooklyn Dodgers for eight seasons. I got I'm currently loaded up on the Dodgers. We're going to start him at 18 and we're going to see if he can even break into the MLB with Will Smith being the starting catcher. At 18 years old, Bill Berger right here in double A for the Dodgers is a 53 overall, which is still kind of a lot. But the only thing carrying him was that career fielding. It's a 96 right now. So I'm excited to see if we could actually get this guy to the MLB because we could just see from the wheel 17 contact versus right, 22 contact versus left, 7 power and 12 power. I think like a top recruit going into like their freshman year of high school could probably be better than Bill. That's where we're at right now for his entire career. Hey, I think it really is about time though. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. As you guys know, for career simulations and things like that, whenever I either replay a career or play the career of somebody, I really don't do that much for them, at least with the game. I don't sign them to gigantic contracts. I don't personally trade them. If they get demoted to AAA, I don't bring them back up. I try to keep this as realistic as the game lets me. So pretty much for this, I have lineups, everything on auto. I got roster moves, by the way, on auto. We got management, trades, free agency, and contracts also on auto to really give the CPU just full control. And for helping me the show, that is an incredibly ballsy move to do because as we know, this game isn't exactly where it needs to be. You know, it's not the greatest. Franchise is kind of on life support, but it is what it is. So let's see for Bill in this video if I can get him better than his real life self. That's my main goal. If we can do that, that's going to be a gigantic W in my book, and this entire video will be a success. So here we go right now in double A. We got Trevor Bauer as our starter right here. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. As we can see, we are on the bench right now. We're the backup right now to Carson Taylor, and let's see how the heck this year can go. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then be sure to leave a like on it. That's the best way to tell me and if you guys haven't already i'd seriously appreciate you guys hitting that sub button it means the world let's go ahead and get this thing going and see if bill can be better than he once was right now mid-season in the first year of double a and we are nine and nine technically we just had the mid-season split for the minor leagues and tulsa is a very very good double a team i gotta be real probably because we do have people like trevor bauer dustin may all those guys were playing technically in double a but the main question is how the heck is bill bergen doing because right now our boy carson taylor just got promoted to triple a and we're still just back here so let's see how the heck we're doing come on Bill, come on. Oh my God, a 276. Already setting a record in his entire career. By the way, plus one in the fielding. He's now a 97. All right, Bill, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Let's keep that going. Four doubles, by the way. Holy crap. The big question is though right now, is he the starter? I don't think he is, and he definitely is not. Okay, so now he's behind Rios as well. I feel like this is gonna be a gigantic problem for him because every single catching prospect that they get that's pretty much above a 55 is just gonna boot Bill Bergen out of his spot. So it seems like that's gonna be one tiny, tiny problem that we're gonna have, but let's see. Oh my God, he's also gonna get kicked out if we draft the catcher. That might not be good. Okay, hello. The Pirates trade Gabrian Hayes to the Dodgers for Dustin May and Michael Bush. The Pirates just signed Gabrian Hayes to a $70 million contract and they already got rid of him. That's actually so sad for the Pirates. What the heck? Either way, let's go ahead and finish the first year and let's see how the heck Bill finished off. In double A right now, we finish off 31 and 38. We did a lot better in the first half, but again, how the heck is our boy doing? Where is he? Where the heck did he go? We got Diego, we got Rios, and we also got Carson Taylor in double a did bill go to triple a there's no way that bill went to triple a oh god the first notification out of 40 is that we've sent down bill bergen to the loons class a for poor performance oh come on bill we were actually doing okay what happened was he just not able to get a single hit in the second half
have. Dodgers right now in the postseason, and they just lost to the Padres, all right? And the Yankees ended up beating the Padres for 2022. Wow, all right, 2023, let's get it. March 30th, here we go, 2023. Let's see if Bill's still on this team. Come on, baby, come on, come on. And he is, let's go. And right now, the guy's the only catcher right now in double A. This is the time where if we're gonna do anything, we gotta do it right now. Let's go ahead and go back to Tulsa. And right now, Bill, I need you to actually destroy everybody, okay? I know it's probably not gonna be a lot, but please let that defense carry you all the way to the MLB. Come on. Can we check the lineups real quick? We got Bill Bergen and he's cold. Oh God, not to mention he's back in the bench. Chance Sisko ended up coming down here along with Evan Longoria. Come on. My personal favorite player of all time, the Dodgers put him in double A. That's just disrespect. But Chance relatively did good for a double A catcher. 14 home runs, 50 RBIs, and a 233. That is very, very good for a catcher. Bill, though, what about you? And oh man, the guy did hit his first home run though of his entire life. So big congrats to Bill on that one. But a 207 right now is not gonna be what we like. Not to mention a 0.3 war. That ain't it right there, bro. That ain't it. At least the guy stayed in double A for the entire season though. That's at least a W. That does suck. Let's see what happens to the Dodgers in 2023. They're going to the World Series. Okay. Gonna be taking on the Red Sox or the Angels and they won the World Series. There we go. Battle of LA right here, by the way. And oh, Shohei Otani. God dang it. Mike Trout Shohei had the opportunity right there, but unfortunately they choked. Let's go and get a 2024 and let's hope that he can at least make, I don't even know. I don't think he's gonna make AAA just yet. So maybe starting the year again for double A and hopefully actually starting the year. That's really all I could hope for right now. Come on, Bill. Show me something good. Let's get to it. Is Bill still in last? Yeah, he is. Wow. Okay. 20 years old at 60 overall. He's still making slight increments up, but again, just because the Dodgers, they get prospects out of nowhere. Rick Reynolds, 21 years old at a 67. He's already beaten out Bill. He's beaten out everybody, basically. He's probably going to be the next Will Smith whenever Will Smith actually gets out of here. I think straight up the biggest blessing for Bergen would actually be to go to a team like the Diamondbacks or the Pirates or something just to get a little bit more play time because on one of the best teams in baseball with a player like him they're honestly going to force him to retire just because of how bad he actually is so let's hope that this year he could either get traded or just be a little different and hopefully the guy could be a hitting machine let's see what happens let's take a look at the lineups and he's still cold this guy's a freaking blizzard dude just snow follows this dude everywhere he goes even in Tulsa and he's hitting to 260. That's not terrible, but yo, he's not gonna beat out anybody in this Dodgers organization. I mean, he's the third string catcher on this entire team. What's the training looking like? If I can actually train this guy, I'm down. And he's actually working on hitting quite a bit. Okay, we're not gonna work on the vision and the discipline just yet, even though that is a gigantic need. We're going straight to the cages because this guy needs that more than anything, in my opinion. If he can get up to like 30, 40 in contact, that's gonna be so much better than anything else. We need to be able to at least put the bat on the ball in the first place. Right now, Bill's out there swinging like Helen Keller, so we gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and finish out in Tulsa. Hopefully, we'll make the postseason. That'd be pretty cool. But let's also hope that maybe Bill can keep that 260. That would be pretty solid. 2024 Tulsa actually makes it into the postseason. There we are. We're gonna be taking on Arkansas in the first round. Okay. But where's Bill? Because it is the postseason and it doesn't look like Bill's even on the double A squad again. Is the guy back down in single A? Please don't tell me. I personally just don't want to go over and see it. And yep, there he is. Not even an explanation. Just honestly, probably because he's the worst player on this entire team. But god dang it, got sent down to class. A. I feel bad for him. I really do. If he was on any other team, I feel like than the Dodgers, he would be in a little bit better of a spot as we can see. Oh my God, look at all the upgrades that he's made. Plus twos and plus threes to the hitting is what we need right now. Not to mention 63 overall. We're slowly building him up. It is a snail's pace, but we're doing it. Let's real quick see how Tulsa does in the championship. And they actually won it. There we go. But unfortunately, Bill was not on the team. The first time that Bill wasn't on the team, they win the championship. That, that's gotta hurt. Oh, come on, Bill. Well, Bill, real quick, how we feeling? Still the last guy in this entire team. The guy's got only three more years of renewable contracts, and then I got a bad feeling that he probably will not get any more. Maybe that will be the time like a Rangers pick him up, or a Diamondbacks, or maybe like a Marlins. I hope any team that needs a catcher will pick him up. That's all I'm hoping for. Let's see what happens though, and I'll see you guys back here in 2025. Back again, 2025, just like always. Oh, there we go. The guy's back in double A. How are the catchers looking for this year? Are they still stacked up? Not really. Yo, where did that like top 50 prospect go? Did they actually get rid of him? The guy actually freaking disappeared. But Bill's gonna be back being the starting catcher for Tulsa. Age 21 season as well. Please, Bill, let's make sure that it can last. I don't need you going back down to single A. Really, I don't. Let's see how he does by the end of the season. Ooh, the Dodgers are actually going to be thinning some more catching depth. That's actually very, very good. Austin Hedges just going to the Brewers. Any catcher, honestly, getting out of here, I'm fine with it. Let's see how we're doing before the All-Star game. I want to see if he actually could make his first ever All-Star appearance. That'd be funny. And he's still cold. Again, a freaking blizzard for this dude. They got Manny Pena down here, hitting a 158, and they're still starting him over Bill. How bad is Bill doing in that case? Okay, still not good either. With one home run, six RBIs, and a 204, he's still making some 
decent progress with the attributes, but I need this guy to go a lot faster than that. Branding how we still looking, still in the batting cages. Just very slow to actually get a little bit better. God dang. All right, let's just go ahead and keep this thing going. 2025, please build. Do not be in single eye by the end of the year. That's all I ask. At the end of 2025, we finish off going to the playoffs possibly. Let's see. And yes, we do have to win the division, take it on the win surge in the divisional series. Okay, let's see. Is Bill still here? And he is. Thank God, finally. He's going to be here for a postseason. Holy crap. After 109 at-bats, the guy's fielding, by the way, is off the charts, but has one home run, nine RBIs, and a 202. The guy is adding a lot of quirks, by the way, to him. They might all be fielding quirks, but still, the more the better. Not to mention plus threes in a lot of the hitting stats. Let's try to win you a chip real quick. Are we going to do it? And I'm not going to lie. It's not looking too good. Oh my God, we come back. Okay, might be looking a little bit better for San Antonio now. Let's see what happens. And never mind. We got absolutely destroyed. Okay, back here in 2026. Let's check again. Is he in AAA? I highly doubt it, but come on. And no, still in AA. 22 years old at a 66 overall. Real quick though, I want to see if the Dodgers ever plan on using the guy. The best way to figure it out is actually through the depth chart, ironically. I never really use this crap because honestly, I don't really like the depth chart all that much. Let's see what happens. 2026, we got Max Stassi, by the way. I didn't even realize that Will Smith was gone. I wasn't even paying attention to that. That's terrible for the Dodgers. Good for us. But Max Stassi for 2026. 2027, we got Baldwin. 2028, we got Baldwin. 2029, we got Baldwin. 2030. Oh my God, look at this. All right, so what the Dodgers are expecting right now is that Bill will be on the MLB team by 2030. In four years, he'll technically be 26 years old. That's not that bad. I mean, that's the career of a freaking journeyman, but I'm down for that, especially since Bill was pretty much the worst player of all time. So that gives me a lot of hope. Let's keep this thing going. Back at it though, midseason 2026 at the All-Star game right now. Bill, how we looking? And he is... Okay, never mind. He is here. What the heck? I didn't even see him because he had fire next to his name. Normally, this guy's a blizzard. Now he's a freaking desert. All right, there we go. Oh my God, Bill. A 366 with one home run and seven RBIs. The only problem is out of 41 games, but still give this guy the starting job, please. By far the best season of his entire life. This is actually nuts right now. There's no way out of only 13 games, he'd be in the all-star game, but I gotta check. I mean, come on. He's hitting a 366 for the first time in life. So please tell me at least made the bench somehow. I don't exactly know how, but please. And nope, not gonna be the case. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. He's still doing great in my mind. Let's keep it going. Let's just make sure you don't get somehow demoted to single A. Come on, my boy, as the Dodgers are still active, getting Victor Robles as well. And there we go. That's why they get rid of Gavin Lux. Also, you guys didn't hear it from me, but we are kind of becoming a decent prospect, like decent enough for teams to actually want to put us in packages for big stars and things like that. So, hey, if it does happen, it happens. I'm not going to stop it. Either way, the drillers again, 48 and 21. Let's go, baby. Let's go ahead and check Bill real quick. He's a 68 overall. There we go, Bill. Bill at a 300 plus average for the first time in his entire lifetime. I wish we could see career minor league stats because I can guarantee you he'd actually be compounding a pretty decent resume. But hey, whatever. Let's see if we could actually bring a chip for double A. We're one game away from elimination and are we actually going to pull it off? No, we don't. Oh, come on. Let's see if the Dodgers can at least win the World Series again. And that is a big no as they get beat by the Cubs. All right, let's get back to 2027 to see if Bill's actually going to be somewhere else. This year for the depth chart, are we still on good trajectory? Let's take a look. Jacob Stallings and Mike Zanino for 2027, 2028. We we still got Baldwin. 2029, Bill Bergen's coming in. Okay, a year earlier. Let's hope that that's going to be the case as he's not in double A anymore. Hold on a minute. Please tell me after all these years, my boy finally got a promotion. Come on. There we go, Bill. A 68 overall, one of the best fielding catchers of all time in the minor leagues. I will say that right now because it's just a fact. But now he's got an all new challenge. His first taste of AAA baseball. Let's see if he stays the entire year. I'm going to bet that he doesn't, but let's see. I'd be very, very happy if he did as, oh my God, we get a new cruise as well. Holy crap. Well, let's see what that happens to AAA. Right now with Oklahoma City, we are at the AAA All-Star Game. And all I got to ask is, is there a baseball god? Is my boy Bill still on this team? Let's see what happens. Lineups and it does not look like he's still on the team. All right. If we're back in AA, it's fine. You know, not a gigantic deal. And never mind, he's on the IL. Okay, Bill. Fractured shin. No, he's actually not doing terrible in AAA. That's actually insane. What the heck? The guy's going to be out for one or two more months. He's still making great strides. But we got to get this guy back in healthy. What's his durability at? That's going to be my question. Question. If that's something we got to work on, I will easily work on it with them. Let's see though. Attributes, if we go down 43. Oh, wow. All right, Bill, we might need to actually work on that a little bit. Let's go back to trainer real quick. He's hitting relatively okay now. So if we can get you some physical conditioning because God dang, do you need it? Let's go ahead and do that for you as well. Maybe until like mid 2028. Let's give him a year of physical conditioning. Let's hope for the best. End of the year in AAA, we should be back and we should be ready for the postseason. Let's take a look real quick. And the lineups, we are back. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can win the championship in our first ever season in 
in AAA. That'd be pretty hype. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Okay, we're taking on the Bison next, I think. Never mind. We're actually taking on the Cardinals. If Bill's playing in this, I will actually quick manage this thing. But I don't think he's going to play, and he is not going to play. All right. Well, let's see who wins. And we did. Perfect. There we go. All right. Bill gets his first chip. Even though it is only in AAA, we'll take it. All right. March of 2028, it is going to be opening day for the MLB squad. And let's see if we're still in AAA. But are we going to be used at all? Because we are getting close to the time where we were going to be a starter in the MLB. Because I think it was, what, 2030, 2029, we were going to be there? Now that Joey Bart's here, though, I don't exactly think that's going to happen. Let's take a look. And no, it is not. Holy crap. Okay. Are we at least in AAA? They got Baldwin starting in AAA. They got Collins and Philip Clark. So no. What about AA? We got to be at least here, right? Well, caught him. No. All right. Where the heck are we? I got to look him up. Where the heck is our boy Bill? There's no way he got released, right? There's zero shot. Let's see. Oh my God, boys, stand up. It's time. This is actually huge. Again, our fielding is absolutely insane. 99, 95, and 91. The hitting in the 30s, the power in the 20s. That is a little bit scary for the MLB because we have MLB pitchers we got to face now. But the fact that we made the MLB squad is actually insane. I think it is purely because of our fielding. And that's basically how the real life Bill Bergen was able to stay in the MLB for 11 seasons being so bad. I don't know how long we're going to be here for, but I hope Bill can make the most out of it. Okay, let's see what happens. The first game against San Diego, win that one. And we won the series for San Diego. Holy crap. Okay. Did Bill play at all? And he definitely did not. I right. The only way, actually, we had a final game, but we still won it. So technically, we did sweep the series. But back to it. The only way that Bill's going to play is if either Joey Bart's one hurt or two, just completely dead tired. Besides that, there's no way they use him. This could get insane. I'm hoping that he could do good as... Are you serious, dude? I have never seen a Rafael Devers for Mike Trout one for one. I know Mike Trout's 36. I know he's an 84 overall. It's still Mike Trout. That alone is disgusting. Let's keep going. Real quick, in May, I just gotta see, has he even played one single at-bat? Come on, Bill, show me something. And he's played 24 at-bats and has how many hits? Four hits. Okay. My boy's rocking a 30% on the Ks. Oh, no. Bill, I just need us to get a couple more hits because if they trade for any sort of catching in the midseason, we are going to go straight back down to AAA, if not AA. But come on, Bill, let's keep it going. Let's keep our spot here, dude. End of the year for the Dodgers, we finish off 75 and 87. The worst year in recent history. Please don't be Bill's fault, and he is not on the team anymore. Oh, God. AAA, he's back, and how did he do in the MLB, though? Got a 172 on his MLB career. Hey, you know what? That is, like, normal, so at least he's staying at least somewhat okay. Also, the attributes have exploded this year. Plus 10 to clutch, plus 7 to durability, plus 5s pretty much all throughout. That's actually nuts. Alright, let's keep going. Let's hope that Bill can actually make it back to the MLB team next year. Back here in March of 2029, let's go ahead and see where the heck my boy Bill is gonna be he is not starting on the mlb squad god dang it he's got to be in triple a right yeah he is he's gonna be the starting catcher for triple a still a 75 which is honestly a lot higher than i thought he was even gonna make it but let's hope that he can make it back to the mlb this year that'd be huge yo back here in 2029 we are already getting rid of joey bart going to the rangers for christopher hood geraldo and damon bauer oh my god does that mean what i think it means let's get to the all-star break of 2029 but is my boy bill gonna be going back to the mlb he's not here in triple a is he gonna be in the mlb Oh my god, he's the starting catcher for the Dodgers. If Bill's going to be the starting catcher, I am down with that as he has one RBI and a 109 average. Please, Bill, just hit a little bit. I know it's hard, but almost 30 games, he has a 144 and 35 strikeouts out of 104 at-bats. Oh, no. Bill, please, just a little bit better. Just a tiny bit better. Second half, come on. Back here, 2029, the Dodgers finish off 76 and 86. Again, a little bit better than last year, but still not good. Let's see how Bill did for one of his first full seasons in the MLB. And, ooh, okay, still not great. A 164. Got 20 hits, but not good at all. 33 strikeouts this year. He's nearing the 80 overall also as well. That's kind of crazy. But also, he's going to be coming up on the end of his renewable next year. This is going to be a very interesting couple of years for my boy Bill. I don't know if he's going to stay with the Dodgers. I really don't. Let's see what happens though for 2030 as we get rid of Joey Gallifer, Shane Bieber, and Brent Rooker. We also get Emerson Hancock. Holy crap. What? Yeah, we're going nuts right now. Opening day 2030. Check the lineups real quick and we got... Okay, Bill's still here. He's going to be starting on the bench this year, but hopefully he can take over Gavin Collins at some point. So come on, Bill. I need you to come out on fire this year. Almost like that AAA year where the guy was hitting 300. I need that type of crap out of Bill right here. 569 seconds later. And I figured it was going to happen at some point, but yo, a one for one. The Orioles get Bill Bergen from the Dodgers for Tommy Park, a relief pitcher. I got to see who the heck that is. Tommy Park. Let's take a look. Tommy Park is a 24-year-old 69 overall. Oh no. 
Oh, God, Bill. All right, well, it's time to go to the Orioles of all teams, and he is still going to be the top catcher. But the guy's also hitting a 150 this year at a 60 at bats. Come on, Bill. All right, let's go, Baltimore. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. They are still very, very horrible. God dang. All right, hey, we got Cabrian Hayes, though, so maybe not terrible. The end of 2030 is here, and we finish off 72 and 90 as the Orioles. Bill, how the heck did you do, though, as he's lost the job to Edgar Diaz, a 75 overall? Oh, God. Bill is on fire, though. He is doing a 246. All right, a lot better. It's showing a boatload of improvement with seven doubles this year. But the fact that he got beat out by Edgar Diaz makes me a little bit nervous. The good thing is, though, he is an 80 overall, so he's not going to be going anywhere. Also, the guy is making a lot of good strides with his hitting. I mean, in the past, like, seven years, the guy's pretty much doubled all of his hitting stats, which honestly is actually pretty insane. 2031, Bill's third year in the MLB. Let's take a look and see where the heck the boy is going to be at. And he is hitting behind Jorge Alfaro. He's just going to be the Orioles' backup for a little bit until Jorge Alfaro just turns into, like, a 60 overall this season. Honestly, I think that is going to be all right. Let's see how the heck the Orioles do this year. I'm not expecting too much, but it will be pretty cool if they make a run. Oh, man, that's not good. Baltimore gets Tyler from the Rays, and it looks like Bill's job is pretty much dead at this point. Unless he's doing insanely good, it seems like his job might be dead as he's hitting a 161. Bill, come on! He's also no longer gaining attributes, which is a terrible, terrible thing. Another terrible thing is since I'm not the GM of the Baltimore Orioles anymore, I can't train the guy. So the dude's just out there alone by himself. He's got to fend for himself. Hopefully he doesn't suck. Good luck, Bill, as they get Tyler Soderstrom as well. Bro, he's dead. He's dead. Trade him, please. Oh my god, I was here worried that the Dodgers were going to be the guys holding us hostage. It turns out the Orioles might be those people. And we're back in AAA. He's hitting a 430 pretty much, but yo, we got to get out. This is going to turn bad. Career-wise in the MLB, he's posting up a 191 on the average. What about the war in his entire MLB career? He's got a 0 0.2. Bill, oh, I, I guess it's better than what he did in real life, but that's not anything to be happy about because again, the worst in baseball history. He is going to be heading into arbitration this year and also the Orioles have used his third minor league option. So now coming up, if we do end up going back to AAA, we're either going to get designated or straight up traded or possibly even released, which those are really the only three options we got. I hope he gets a bag in arbitration, but I don't exactly think a guy hit a career 191 is going to get all that much money. If we check the Orioles opening day squad, oh God, Drew Romo's over here now. 30 years old, a switch hitter and a B potential at 83 overall. We just got put in a coffin, basically. That's what happened. Right now in AAA, we're not even on the AAA team. Double A, we're not even on the double A team. Where's Bill? Where did our boy go? Wait, technically during arbitration, they could possibly not even offer you a contract. And then you're just a free agent, straight up. Don't tell me Bill's gonna still be here. And he's in the MLB. Yo, am I just straight up blind, actually? Wait, the guy could have gotten designated because again, he doesn't have the option left. And he did, that's where he's at. He's in waivers. All right, let's see where that key lands. I'm guessing in AAA, but let's see. Where's the boy at? And he's here. All right, yeah. Well, he's gonna be back on the bench in AAA for the Orioles, and the guy is losing attributes. This is not good. Is the guy at least getting paid a decent amount? 1.6 million? That's a little much, but hey, whatever. Good job, Bill, getting the bag for literally no reason. Let's see how the heck 2032 treats us. Hopefully good, but let's see. Right now, Norfolk, though, turns out to be 84 and 66. If Bill can win two AAA championships, that's pretty decent for the resume. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're past Omaha. Over to Scranton next. Oh, man, the Yankees. And we got beat out. God dang it. All right. Bill, how'd you do? Did not even play a single at bat. Yeah, he's done. He's pretty much done. 20, 33, back with the Orioles. And we are back with the Orioles. And we're going to be on the MLB squad this year. Looks like the Orioles ended up losing out on two of their major catchers. Now we're going to be behind Drew Romo this year. Also, Baltimore's running three catches, just like the freaking Padres. So let's see how that works. Bold strategy, boys. Let's see how it works. 20, 33, the Baltimore Orioles finish off 83 and 79. Actually, not terrible for the Orioles. And if we check the lineups real quick, we got Bill Bergen and 83 overall. Okay. Had three home runs and nine RBIs with almost a 240. The first time he's hit home runs since the time he got to Baltimore. So out of 134 games in his entire career, he's had four home runs. We'll take that. Also, he finally reached 200 on the average. What was his war this year? A 0.6. Aye, aye. Kind of record for the guy. Also, his career fielding is insane. He's had one error his entire MLB career. He's coming to his last year of arbitration as well. So I want to see what's going to happen there. In 2033, the Giants ended up beating the Royals that year. 2034, let's Let's take a look and we're still gonna be on the bench god dang it but yo drew romo he's gonna be coming into us last year before free agency so they could possibly trade him this year or we might be starting by next season which would actually be pretty nice again i hope that does happen because we've been averaging about like 10 to 20 mlb games per year now i do want to see how bad we would stink if we just had the entire season for ourselves let's hope for the best during this year i will see you guys back at the end of it hey yo baltimore won 90 games this year and they're gonna be taking on the red Sox. and the red Sox have grace and rodriguez wow but for baltimore is bill bargain's 
still on the team. Please tell me. This would be so sick. Please tell me my boy's gonna be here for the first time. And he's in AAA. Oh, come on. And he is going down heavily. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. He played the most games in his entire career. And he posted a 189 average. Bro, come on. Had six doubles, three more home runs, 11 RBIs. But yo, this was the year that if he really wanted to make a name for himself, he had to stay. And the guy had to do good. Unfortunately, he just didn't. The guy is still in the Formula roster, though. So if the Orioles do win it, he gets a ring. Let's see what happens. They beat Boston. Come on. Let's go. It's 2 2 versus Oakland. Come on, Toby. There we are. Okay. LCS time now versus the Rays. 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, two, two. Make that 2-3 in such a close game. Oh my God, 3-3. Three, three. Game seven. Please, Baltimore, do this. Oh, baby. Okay. I know Bill's not going to be on the team, but this could be the first time he wins a World Series, even though the guy did literally nothing. Come on. Boris Miller versus Bobby. Lost that. Toby won that one. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Kyle won that as well. 2-1. to one. Luther versus Matt Brash won that one as well. 3-1. Now Julio versus Bobby Miller. Okay, lost it. 3-2. Boris versus Ricky James. Let's go, baby. Bill Bergen officially on a team that technically won the World Series that year. He's got a World Series ring now on that finger, even though the guy hit a 189. We also won a World Series the year that he's going to be going into the free agency. At least I think he's going into free agency. Let's see where the heck the guy is. Bill, where you at? He's still here. So I guess not. He's still got arbitration. Oh my God. The arbitration just keeps on going for him. It's because his only service time keeps getting cut short. He keeps bouncing from the MLB team to AAA to the MLB team. So he's still got technically two more full seasons before he becomes an MLB free agent. Unless the guy just gets full on release, which again, he's losing a lot of crap. So it could happen pretty soon. For 2035, Bill is back on the waiver wire. He's going to be going down to AAA for the Orioles coming up very, very soon. And let's just hope they can have a good year to at least get traded, maybe to another squad. I think if that happens, I'll be pretty happy. All right, Bill, how do we do? 32 years old and in double A. Oh man. The guy's losing so many freaking attributes. The guy did cap out in 84 of Role, which is kind of nuts for him. Nobody would have thought that, but unfortunately, he just did not get what he needed, and plus, he didn't perform when he needed to. End of 2036, and Bill did not play a single Triple A game. Guys, he's done. He's actually done. He's toast. Dude's got to retire. He's a 68 overall, 32 years old. He played four years in MLB, but that's got to be it. As the Orioles, by the way, won another World Series, and we got fired from the Dodgers. <laughs> hey, we'll go to the Cardinals, but yo, we got fired. Like, literally, we got fired. Oh, man. Hey, Bill's still gonna go. I don't know why, but he's still going. Coming back in 2037, and Bill is still somehow just chilling. I don't know how, but he is. Triple A to 68 overall. How much money are you making, bro? It's gotta be less than, yeah, 3.1, but still. For a guy that didn't even play in Triple A last year, he's making 3.1 million. When are they gonna stop paying you, bro? It's gotta be soon. Norfolk this year finished off 71 and 79. Had a terrible season, but is Bill still somehow here? He is, and he hit a 256. That's the best he's hit in a long, long long time but still he's a 64 overall bro bill there's no way you're gonna keep going he's gotta be leaving he's not leaving he actually is not leaving he still wants to play i mean it makes sense when you're making 3.1 million dollars a year to do literally nothing but it is still weird that they keep paying him i mean at this point he's made close to 10 million dollars in his entire career which again i gotta be honest i love bill but that is absolutely stupid now back again are they still gonna pay bill or he's not even here anymore oh god oh no the inevitable has finally happened bill are you in fragency are you actually here you got Adley up here at 40 years old at 72. But where's Bill? And he is 34 years old. One of the youngest guys here, actually. And that is going to be it for Bill Bergen. You know what? Just for one season. At 2.6 million, I'm going to sign him to the Cardinals. And he is not even accepting a contract. Bro, you're literally done. Stop with the ego. You're literally garbage. The most I'll pay him is 3.3. He still doesn't want to. You know what? Here, you could be in every day. He still doesn't even want that. Yo, okay. How much do you want? I'll go five. That's the max. And the guy signed for five. Okay. Now I'm not going to put him on the MLB squad. I'm going to let whatever happens happens, but I want to just keep him at least for what? Another season. I want to see how he would do on a completely different squad. And hey, midway through the year, I've been trying to work with Bill, but the guy's a 60 overall and it looks like he's done. I've been putting him back in the batting cages because for some reason he was not training for years, but I think that's going to be it. Yo, Bill, hey. You played four seasons in the MLB. He has a 197. I think I'm going to give him one last hurrah. You know what I mean? But after this season, if he gets sent down, released, or anything, I'm just going to go ahead and let him retire, and then we'll see what happens after that. And yo, I'm not even lying. I went to check to see how Bill was doing in the MLB. Not even a day after I brought him back up. He already got sent back down to double-A because of poor performance. Bro, Bill, ugh, worst player in baseball, and they weren't lying. Holy crap, Bill. The dude aged like yogurt going into his 30s. Just chunky and gross. The end of 2039, let's see if Bill Bergen is 
one still on the team and two wherever the heck he is and he is and he's a 48 overall dude oh god he didn't even play a game he literally did not even play a single game in double a and yeah it is probably over for the boy right it has to be there is zero shot that he keeps going right let's see real quick and there he goes bill bergen the ability just freaking screwed him 36 years old again a career 189 on the average 255 for the obp slugging was a 262 out of 196 games had 660 at bats had 125 hits 23 doubles two triples seven home runs 40 rbis 56 walks 177 strikeouts stole eight bags and also got caught eight times what about that career war finish over the 0.2 on the career war also 0.99 on the fielding this guy was incredible at fielding but that hitting was literally like my grandma <laughs>